Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to sit down and film for you guys a quick fall favorites video. So I had just actually talked about it in my blog that I was trying to do today and that is that I have done a couple, not just a ton, but a couple of monthly favorites videos and I found that a lot of my products or items that I've been loving, they keep repeating themselves. So in an attempt to share with you guys different things that I've enjoyed, I'm going to try and do it seasonally. So this season having passed, being fall, um, I am going to share with you guys those items. Um, and I've kind of got them separated down. I've got a few um, makeup products and then some clothing items and then um, kind of more television type things that we'll share. So anyways, um, if you are interested in this video, then please keep watching. Okay, so starting out with my makeup products, the first thing that I wanted to share with you guys is actually something that I've talked about before, and that is the Maybelline Dream Liquid Mousse in the color Sandy Beige. Now, this is a product that I have used for quite some time. Like I said, I've, I've talked about it pretty, pretty positive in some other favorites videos. And it's just one of those products that I'm really, really comfortable with. And it's just, for me, it's turning into one of those just classics. And I know it's safe. I know that if I put it on, it's going to look good. I'm not actually wearing it today. I'm trying out um, a different brand. It is the Merle Norman uh, makeup line. And anyways, not talking about that right now. But back to this one. It's just something that I know that I can come back to. And it's safe. And it looks good. My skin always looks super great. I think when I have it on and I never have a problem um, with it like breaking down or oxidizing on me so that's just something that if I put my makeup on I'm usually gonna have a long day so it's nice to know that by the end of the day it's still gonna be looking all right and not a hot mess so yeah that is my first makeup product my second thing is not a well, it's not a makeup product, it's a nail polish. And I know that I have talked about this before, and it is the Sally Hansen Miracle Gel in Totally Yours. Now this was, I've changed the polish since then, but this, I had it on my nails, I know for a good four weeks, like it did not change. It was the same thing over and over again. And it's just something that I kept gravitating towards. Now that it's, a, now that it's winter, I'm more to the burgundies and the reds, more Christmassy and, I don't know, vampy colors, I guess, going either way. But like in fall, I'm not ready to totally jump off into the dark colors yet. I mean, I can, but I like to play with my darker, like my browns and those kind of colors. Now this one is more, I'm not sure how it's coming off on camera, but I mean, it's kind of a nudie brown color. Um, it's a little bit darker than just my, I've got a good gray color and it's a good bit darker than that, but it's just a nice I don't know, nice transition color when I'm getting ready for the darker ones, especially when you, you've got summertime and you're, you're more pinks and I don't know, just it's a good color. So that is my nail polish. Okay, so the next couple of products that I wanted to share with you are actually, and I was talk, just talking about my face, are actually all from the Merle Norman cosmetic line. And that is something that I don't see a whole lot of being talked about on YouTube and maybe there are people talking about it and I just don't ever see it like I've seen very few people talking about the brand but anyways the items that I'm talking about are gonna be an eyeliner and two lipsticks so for the eyeliner okay this is don't laugh um, this is actually all that I have left of the eyeliner it's a and I've already basically sharpened the name off of it. It's, from what I can tell, it's a soft touch eye pencil. It's in the color teak, so it's kind of like this real pretty purpley color. Um, actually, I do have it on my eyes today. And this is what it looks like. I think it's looking more brown on camera. But it's just really pretty. Um, and one of my favorite things about it is that it doesn't smudge. Like, I can smudge it out when I first apply it. But after that, it's not going anywhere. It's butch proof. And, like, when I try to take my, my eye makeup off, I have to be really careful that I'm not scrubbing my eyes because it does just want to stay on there. So, if you try this product, I definitely recommend, like, a some kind of eye makeup remover. Um, and not just, you know, be like me and be lazy and scrub your eyes because it's not good. And... This product is really, really great. It's really fabulous. And yeah, 
it made my favorites video so it's it's definitely a favorite to me um the next thing that i wanted to talk about are their lip lipstick pencils okay it's called the lip pencil plus plus okay and i have two um the one that i've had the longest is in the color mocha i actually got this one in a gift set and then the one that i just recently got is in sparkling wine um, so the thing with these lip pencils, if you're not familiar with them, is that one side is a lip liner and the other side is a, it's like a lipstick, it's a color, but it's a little bit more creamy than anything that I've ever, have, anything that I've used in a lipstick and it's kind of bizarre to me that it isn't a pencil, you would think, or I would think, that it would be a whole lot more drying, um, but it's not, it's really, I don't know. I just say moist but it's like it's just got a really good texture to it and it doesn't like pull on your lips um so for sparkling wine this is the lip liner right here sparkling yeah sparkling wine um so that is it right here and then this is the color and it's just really nice and creamy. That's what I should have said, not moist. It's just nice and creamy, okay? Um, so yeah, that, like I said, sparkling wine. And then the other one that I've had for forever, which probably needs to be dry, because look how like the two caps are about to touch each other. But anyways, let's see. Okay, so that is the liner right there. And this, is the lip color right here and it's a nice nudie brown color kind of like totally yours but um I don't know I just think the color is really pretty uh, I have actually worn this color a ton a lot more than I thought I would I guess I've just really become accustomed to wearing more berry colors especially this time of the year I mean fall and winter but um I don't know I've enjoyed both shades so yeah that so far is the makeup products that i was going to share for you and now we can jump into my few clothing items that i wanted to share um the first thing that i wanted to share with you guys is this coat okay so if you can tell anything about it it's got this super cool collar on it with a really fun print um it is from the brand comfy casuals now the story behind this jacket is that it's actually my mom's um i have borrowed it from her um i actually had to use it we went to tennessee um the week before thanksgiving so that weekend before and it's it's so cold up there they my cousins live in east tennessee and it was it was bleh. It was just really cold so anyways needed warm stuff and i had a couple of coats but nothing that i just wanted to wear during the day their my jackets are kind of like I hate to say dressier but they just weren't just like hanging out on the farm they have a christmas tree farm so hanging out on the christmas tree farm and yeah this one was super nice and super warm um it's not uh what are those jackets called like the down jackets it's not like that it's a little bit quilted on the inside um so it's not a really thick but it keeps you warm um and aside from this being my mom's jacket, my mom and my dad used to take my granddad out at his farm supply store and they actually carry this brand. So it's really neat that I was able to borrow it and use it and I actually still have it in my closet um, to get some more wear out of it this winter. But yeah, thanks mom, love the coat. Um, and if you are interested, I'm not real positive that if the brand is even around anymore, I actually looked it up for myself and could not find anything the brand being comfy casuals and yeah so good luck F trying to look for it i'll look again and if i can find anything i'll definitely link it um below but like i said i didn't have much luck before so sorry just kind of one of those vintagey luck ups i guess um but the next thing that i wanted to share with you guys is another jacket um and this one i actually got last year this one's from old navy it is a um little parka and it's just i've been wearing it as like a little raincoat because i mean granted if it's pouring it probably wouldn't keep me dry but just for the drizzles that we've been having it's done a great job and also a great windbreaker um 
and if I haven't already said it, it's from Old Navy and it's just been a super great jacket and I've just been able to wear it with everything. So yeah, and I will link this one below if I can find something similar to it because like I said, I got this last year. So being able to find the exact one is probably may not happen, but I will see if I can find something similar. Um, and the last thing that I wanted to share with you guys is something that I got this season. So hopefully there will still be some like it. Um, and the, that item, or that item is these dirty tennisers. Um, so excuse them being gross, but I have gotten lots of wear out of them. And these are the Adidas Cloud Foam. Is that all they're called? Okay, we're gonna say Adidas Claw Foam. If I can find the exact name, I will link it below. Um, but these spe specific tennis shoes are actually, um, well, they're men's. Um, I have a size 11 woman's foot. And yeah, it kind of makes finding tennis shoes kind of hard. But anyways, I fell in love with the color of these and they're just super duper comfortable. Um, so yeah. These are awesome, and if you would like a pair, I will link these below because I'm pretty positive I can still find this link. So, yeah. And that is my clothing favorite, which is not just a whole lot. Um, I feel like this fall I wore a lot of yoga pants and sweatshirts, so you'll have to forgive me on that. But the next thing that I wanted to share with you guys um, are my television favorites and I guess why I wanted to include that this season is because there have been a lot of new TV, sh TV shows released. Um, whew, and this may be the longest part of my fall favorites. Longest part of this video. So, yeah, where to start? Okay, well, for one, Westworld. Um, if you have not seen that yet, um, I'll do my best not to spoil it for you. But, um... I guess just kind of the gist of the show is that there is this, um, oh my gosh, I don't even know how to explain it because it's just so, there is this western world, um, and it's not like it's some out there world, it's like a computer-like world where people can go, oh, hang on just one second. When you realize you've had lipstick on your teeth the entire time. Um, I think I'm good now. But anyways, back to Westworld. Um, they are in this Western-like world. And it's, what I was saying was that it's kind of, um, kind of, it's a computer-like world where we, the humans, can go into this world and just live this um, life that we've always wanted. That you can do whatever you want to do there and be whoever you want to be there. Um, and the series of events that unfold in this TV show are just, it's crazy. It's stuff that, I don't know, I would have never even thought about. It's kind of got a bit of a feel of, um, I don't know. There's kind of like a little bit of, to me, it was the Hunger Games. There was some kind of something about this storyline that made me think of, of that not like the the killing part of Hunger Games but like when they go off into battle they're in this like world that people can control by computer that's somewhat like Westworld if that makes any sense hopefully it does um there are some bigger actors in this show it's an HBO show they've got Anthony Hopkins and James uh Marsden and oh goodness what is the girl's name um Okay, well, if I try to say it, I'm going to say it wrong. But anyway, she's been in a lot of stuff, too. So, just, it's got a really great cast um, in the show. So, anyways, I recommend you check that out. Um, I think that if you just watch the first episode, you will be hooked. Like, I had already, I was a couple weeks late watching it, and there was already four episodes out. And I just straight up watched all four episodes. So, it's, I enjoyed it. And hopefully, if you check it out, you will, too. Um, the next thing that I wanted to talk about was, um, Gilmore Girls, The Day in the Life. Um, <sighs> okay, again, try not to spoil anything, but if you've already seen it, you know. Okay, so if it's not lipstick on my teeth, it's my battery going dead. Alright, so back to Gilmore Girls. Um, I actually watched that the day it came out, so November 25th. Um, and if you haven't already watched that, then go, you should definitely go and check that out because it's insane. Um... 
almost left me a little bit bitter at the end because of the information that you find out. Um, so that the fourth season, or yeah, her fourth season, um, fall, it's the last season. Um, but anyways, it makes you really wish that they would just reboot this series and maybe have it through... Okay, I'm gonna stop talking because I think y'all know where I'm going. If you've seen it, you know where I'm going. If you haven't seen it, then I'm about to spoil everything for you. So I'm just gonna stop here. Um, <laughs> the next thing that I have been loving the last, well, the last two things, and I'm gonna hurry up and wrap this video up because it's getting super long, is Vampire Diaries and Quantico. Both of these shows have been on for a minute. This is Quantico's second season, um, and then Vampire Diaries is the eighth season. I think, yeah. Um, so, Vampire Diaries is actually about to end, I guess, maybe next year. This is their last season. I may be wrong on the year, but anyways, um, it's about to go off, and it's it's been a really great season. It's kind of made you wonder what direction they're going to go in. I've been trying to read some stuff online, but nobody's really given any, um, any positives or any for sures about anything, so it's just got me with a ton of questions. Um, as for Quantico, um, I missed, so Sunday night is when it airs and I missed last night's episode so I'm about to go and check that out but it's just been a super, super great season and there, there's a lot of stuff going on right now. If you're not familiar with Quantico, it's a, it was previously an FBI based show and now it's got a little bit of the CIA in it and what I think is neat is that they actually talk about things that are actually that have been going on in our country in the states um so yeah super cool got a lot of drama on it and yeah i guess that's all i've got for you guys today and i hope that you enjoyed my favorites video and that it didn't ramble too much for you guys i'm trying to work on speaking more slowly and clearly and all of that jazz so i will talk to you guys in another video very soon and I hope you all have a great day oh and if you would like to subscribe then you know that would be great too so anyways I'll talk to you guys later and yeah bye